I want to tell you a story. It's the story of a world run by the American dream. A world where retail therapy soothes the empty hearts of their citizens, convincing them that the more you have, the happier you will be. Where the wretched hands of corporations make billions off of the single lie that depression can be simply fixed with designer. And if you can't afford this life, if you work a minimum wage job, if you don't fit into the ideals of this dream, this lie, you can't ever be happy. So people invest their money in flashy jewelry. They look down upon those who don't make six-figure salaries because happiness can only come from the validation and the jealousy of the people around you. This is a system that can never let people be happy because no one can ever win. But the citizens don't know that. So what happens when all of a sudden, the citizens of this world lose it all? All of a sudden, regardless of how much money you have, how shiny your car is, and how much people love you, you are at risk. Suddenly, you can lose it all. And many did. Ladies and gentlemen, this is our world right now. On the 30th of January, 2020, the United Nations Health Council determined that COVID-19 was a public health epidemic, an outbreak that is dangerous to all of humanity, with a confirmed 3.75 million cases and close to 300,000 fatalities, a rapid decrease in stocks, a staggering 44% of Canadians losing their job, and even leaders like Boris Johnson getting this virus. COVID-19 has shown no mercy to money. And it may seem bleak. This is probably one of the main reasons why people are terrified from being in denial of this crisis to being depressed, anxious, and scared, and alone. The world seems like a constant down spiral towards just failure. But that's not what I'm here to talk to you about. See, I'm here to show you the light at the end of this dark tunnel we called COVID. Because we need some happiness and we need some positivity to show what our world can look like after this crisis. You've most likely heard leaders say things like, things will get bad before they can get better. And that's not just true for this crisis, but for the future of our world after this crisis as well. There are two main reasons for this. First, through tough times, we learn to value good times so much more. Before this crisis, our lives were fast paced and robotic. We became desensitized towards appreciating the small gestures and acts of kindness and the beauty and the simplicity of life. It's like the common phrase, you don't know what you've got till it's gone. When you are isolated in your home, away from the rest of society, you slowly start to feel gratitude for the things that you take for granted. The shade of the trees, the smell of the sweet wind blowing at dawn, and the people that you love, and the simply like the ability to live life to the fullest itself. When you learn to find happiness in life, you don't need fast fashion to make you temporarily happy because you already have that sustainable happiness. Second off, we learn to be unified. Quarantine is not just impacting one person, it's impacting the world. We are all unified and facing this problem as a species. You aren't different from your neighbor or the guy on the street because at the end of it, you both are simply human. Now you have humane characters and different stories to connect on. I'm talking about the people singing in their communities in Italy. I'm talking about showing a newfound appreciation for store owners, doctors, and other essential workers that we simply don't commemorate enough. Previous competition has turned into cooperation and kindness. Because as lonely as we may be in quarantine, we are fighting together. Ladies and gentlemen, there are two ways the story can end. The first being that we go back into who we were before. Back into the trap of consumerism and a competition with simply no winners. Back to showing off our fancy smanchy lives, our six-figure salaries, and looking down upon those people that have helped us through this crisis. Those store workers, those first aid response people, on the sites for things that we can't do. The second being that we evolve to be grateful. The only way to fix being empty and unsatisfied with our lives is to feel grateful for what we have. Be grateful for the car that drives you around. Be grateful for the people in your life that you care about. Go out of your way to help the people on the street who can't help themselves because you know what it's like to be helpless. We can spread happiness and end competition between people because you have the power to revolutionize the world with your perspective. So, which ending will you choose? Thank you.